Assalamu alaikum hi everyone it's play halal so this is the fifth part of our tutorial series let's make a racing game In this tutorial will be fixing bugs and we'll also actually uh, restructure our previous code and change some of the stops for the sake of our AI uh, advancement so far the AI is able to use braking steering and also acceleration but now it is time for them to be more competitive and it is time for them to maneuver on the road by detecting each other so in order to get a result of, of that caliber I had to make a longer tutorial and this tutorial I have to say this is the most uh, hardest tutorial I made and in this tutorial I'll be doing a lot of stops and may, may, it's maybe intermediate level, level but I'll be explaining a lot what is going on and what I'm doing and by the end of the tutorial we'll have a fully functional car that is able to detect opponent in front of them and then they can actually decide which way they can maneuver safely making this tutorial made me realize how important it is for you guys to actually follow along and follow the journey but unfortunately there will be a lot of people who don't want to actually watch all the episodes in order to uh, continue this series and that, that's why I want to make it simple I want to uh, share uh, my project files and you guys can comment if you really want the project file because if you guys don't want the project file I won't be sharing it so comment below and please enjoy this tutorial and I have made this tutorial my longest please support comment like and subscribe of course in the world of racing there are two ways you can maneuver your opponent first is attack so most of the time you have to attack first I guess and then you can defend because if you're in front of someone you can actually defend your position so far we haven't touched our defending but we made a braking system which can later be used as our defensive system but for now it is not part of our defending so we made braking and deacceleration on the previous episode and we also made a speed macro and today I'm going to change a lot of things but before I do that let me show you on flaw of our coding especially with our target location and the uh, distance stuffs that we made let me show you the problem so if you hit play as you can see the cars sometimes actually crashes with each other so they can actually knock each other out of the road and what happens when they are out of the road so let's see as you can see they are suddenly out of the road and because they are outside the range of the spline they get lost and they just circle around their target location so this is a uh, huge problem in our coding so in order for us to fix this we need to actually change the way we are doing things so the problem is we are depending on our distances uh, quite a lot and this distances sometimes doesn't work if you are too outside of the road let's say I not a car really far away and that car has no way to actually get to the closest location and even if it reaches the closest location it might not be angling itself the, in the correct way so as a result uh, there's a chance that that car would be just spinning and circling around the whole time so to, in order to make a smart AI cars that can compete each other first I need to actually fix this issue so we need to actually delete all of this I don't mean all of the code that we made previously just delete this section and these three function and pure function and then press delete so if you delete we have then two things one is target location and the other one is steer on spline so let's just uh, draw a debug to see uh, we, you, we always need a debug when we are testing our, our target location so sphere is a good option to actually visualize uh, our current location so let's just connect it and uh, actually we need to do a lot of mathematics so let's just collapse this into function so collapse to a function and let's name it 
target location advanced so advanced that means we are doing a lot of lot of complicated stuff inside our target location because this relies on everything that we want to do with our car maneuvering stuff like that and let's just change the way we made the fo following the spline location so previous, previously we depended on the distance along spline to actually get the uh, location but we actually couldn't calculate the exact distance we need to actually adjust uh, the closest target location on spline so let's just find that let's find the closest target location uh, uh, close to our car AI actor so that it just gives us the right location on the spline I guess and to do that let's just get our variable get spline so this is a variable of our component uh, it is currently here inside the construction script and we got the spline and then promoted to a variable that's how we got our spline and get uh, closest closest uh, not closest I guess closest tangent tangent so find tangent closest to our location and you have to actually select world and then we need to get the actor get actor location and let's connect world location with our get actor location so this is our car AI location but we have to actually normalize this normalize to get the closest tangent so tangent actually isn't something of a location but it helps us uh, getting the right location in front of our car AI and to do that actually we will have to update it with our multiplier so it is constantly going forward with our car AI and if we multiply this with our speed kmh macro so this is our speed kmh kilometer per hour if you go inside we have this get forward speed then we convert it with uh, 0 0.036 to get the kilometer per hour but we had done, had a, we haven't done one thing that is get absolute so absolute value only takes the positive a value that means no negative or minus value so this will be good and then the last step here is to actually get uh, get the closest location on spline so this is the most important node to get the closest location so find closest location to our location find closest location to our let's just connect this with this and I think we made a mistake here we actually need to again uh, add our actor location otherwise this won't work so let's copy this and let's add this so we added this if we did not add this it would not follow our car AI character it's because we added our car AI location it will continue in front of our car AI uh, it may not be in front of but it will I guess closer I guess it will continue from the actual location itself that's what I'm guessing so let's just uh, okay let's just arrange them and I think it would be best if we just collapse this thing to a macro because we need to get this uh, get this macro many times this location is quite useful and let's name it target close uh, closest location sounds better closest location along on spline on spline closest location spline and get inside it and we need to connect bunch of things uh, actually get actual location let's delete this and let's just expose it with the input so the same thing here this one was our actor so this and this are the same vector and make a reroute and we need another output otherwise we won't be able to give the location so our output would be called location and our input here would be called source location Okay, 
I think it is too basic for a name. Let's just give it target location. Okay. Now we have it, and let's just connect this to see if it does work or not. So if we connect this with this, and we actually need to get the actor get act uh, actor location and connect it with our source location otherwise it will show red error now that we have connected and let's go to our event graph as you can see we have the steer option open and if we uh, actually let me test it out how it works so there's this issue it is following the wrong location maybe we are not doing something right here let's see what it is so get actor location okay we need to set the coordinates based world so this is a small mistake hopefully this will fix the issue and let's see how it does as you can see it is working I guess but we don't know if it will work outside the road okay the, even if it goes outside the road it actually follows the target location but the, the problem is the target location is quite behind our cars not behind in the middle I guess we need to say no that's not the location the location is in front of our actor car AI actor so we need to give it a front value uh, front location and we the way we can do that is by adding our forward vector get forward so if you multiply forward vector okay get actor forward vector not the usual one so let's just multiply this and convert it to float and let's say we'll give it a 500 in the front so it will now the location will be 500 uh, forward in front of our car actor so it will be further further in the front and it will fix our issue probably as you can see the target location is now forward yeah okay that's funny let's just rotate it downward oh no I think everything's good we just need to increase the speed something like 70 yeah why not let's give them bigger number 70 yep So far the braking system we worked previously working just fine and because of that braking it's just not jumping properly I guess. But pretty much it is following the road and there may be just too much circling but they are still able to actually. Uh, I guess we can fix this issue quickly. Uh, we are multiplied by 500 if we get our sp speed kilometer so this is our speed and if we multiply with our speed let's see what happens and okay, let's see if it does fix the issue okay the speed is not multiplied we need to give it a better number like let's say we give it something like uh, 12 so hopefully this will fix the issue yeah it is much better than before I guess it is a bit better than before but not very I guess we can just uh, multiply even more. Let's just give it a 24. 
As you can see, it is not circling like before. It is not crazy. But the issue is, it is not actually trying to maneuver and skip through. Actually, trying they are not trying to find a way around their opponent. They are not trying to beat each other. So, in order for them to actually defeat each other, we need to actually... Uh, I guess we need to actually manipulate this location so we need to actually uh, add so previously we added our forward vector which gave us I guess a frontal location of in front of our car quite far away from our actual car location but this time we need to do it on the right side so get our actual right vector so with this right vector we can actually move our AI car left and right and by doing so we can actually maneuver around our opponent so let's just multiply like before we and let's just make it float and yeah I guess this needs to be done again for some reason okay now that we have done this we need to actually promote this right vector multiplier to a variable and let's promote this thing to a variable and let's call this right left amount and it should be by default value of 1 so next step we need to actually add box collision so let's just add box box collision let's name it something like detect before maneuver maneuver the detect before maneuver is a box and we need to actually place it in front of our slowdown and let us make it bigger and wider and this should be and the other ones will be smaller from now on and the break here will be smaller as well and what we want to do here is that we actually want to add event with our detect before maneuver we want the begin and end overlap both of this let's get it and we have both of this now we need actually we need to set a condition with our speed let's say if the speed is uh, greater okay greater or equal to uh, 20 then yes we can maneuver our opponent so this is the requirement it has to meet the minimum speed otherwise it can maneuver and now we'll have a boolean and we call it should should beat should beat opponent so this is should beat our let's set it true and here on we need a delay so we if we are going to actually set it false we need a delay of one second I guess maybe more we'll give it three second of delay then we should bid it so we have what we need but the thing is in our target location we made a mistake here we actually uh, disconnected with our source and let's just reconnect it so we made a mistake by actually trying to uh, use our right vector to move the source location but we actually need the target location so target location will be multiplied by our, our right vector and this is our right left amount variable and by setting this amount we can actually move the car uh, to the right so let's just set this thing I guess we want something like uh, 360 on the right and 
Um, and for our, I guess, uh, on the target location, we actually need to select because it's not always we are moving left or right, right? We have to actually know when to move right and left. So if it is, uh, be a, uh, if it, it should beat the opponent, if it is going for the opponent, then it should, I guess, go left and right. But if it is false, then B, it should just you follow the usual target location along spline. So this is the modification we did. So this modification actually changes the, and the target location will move on the right with this amount. And so far we have set it to for 360 but what if we want to move left. So this is quite complicated but let me show you how you can actually know where which direction you have to actually move in order to maneuver your opponent so to do that we actually need the, our opponent location and the opponent location has to be somewhere with our actual uh, actual location so let's just get actor actor location And let's promote this thing to a variable and let's call it opponent location and it's it's I guess when it is set our opponent location we need to actually uh, calculate distance between our opponent and our left and right side so to do that we will use the macro I guess the macro is here somewhere distance discrimination and we actually uh, use we're gonna use these things again just we're not gonna select target uh, we'll copy this and we'll go inside the target location and here we'll make those uh, condition here so we already have the opponent location let's just calculate so if our right side is less than let's say less than if our right distance is less than the left distance that means uh, our opponent is on the right so if that's the case we actually need to uh, if our right distance is smaller than the left distance there that means our opponent is on the right that means we have to move on the left so let's just multiply this multiply let's multiply this and let's just select select float and if we add the boolean it should be moving on the right I guess if the right distance is okay I think I'm confusing somewhere something uh, if the left uh, right distance is smaller than the left distance that means our opponent is on the right so if that the case we have to actually move left and to move left we need minus one and if not then we have to move right with one so this will multiply our value if it is 360 uh, then we will multiply it minus one it will become minus 360 which means it will move through the left so let's just convert this into a macro collapse it to macro and name it uh, distance opponent 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 discrimination discrimination opponent discrimination why not distance discrimination and this is opponent discrimination I think it would be better if we name it if we add distance distance yeah so we now have what we need but the thing is there's this issue with our target location itself so it is multiplied by 24 I guess 28 is better uh, but the problem is when 
sometimes the target location when the our car actually has zero speed or less than one speed it actually the target location uh, is too close to our car so we don't want that because sometimes it messes uh, with the steering so the car actually uh, spins around and circles around that target location as a result it does not stays on the road and to fix this we actually need the speed kmh so we need to actually get the speed to less than one if it is less than one then we should actually uh, I, I guess before we do that we need to delete this let's just recreate them uh, multiply by 24 uh, maybe 29 is better and let's just uh, add that add that and let's just use select how much we want to add because we, want, we always want to be in our target location to be forward in front of our car not with the car itself so let's just add a big value of 1500 and if it of course that will be added if the car is slower than one kilometer per hour and if it's uh, fast enough it is if it is accelerating above one kilometer then it should be added zero so there's not much to see let's just add this with our forward vector which is adding to our actual location and then we need to change this thing because it is currently distance discrimination uh, updating every frames per second because we are inside the target location which is connect to, connected to tick so let's just cut it and we will go to event graph and here on we will just make a new variable a uh, new boolean so let's just fix the okay uh, it's good and now we need to actually get that macro distance opponent discrimination let's promote this thing to a variable and call it uh, decide left or right so this one uh, should be here okay we already have it we are trying anyway let's just connect this with this one and we have the I guess we have the condition that we need let's just connect this one with this so if there are I guess the name should be right first because we are comparing it with it right so it would be better if we name it right first than left always be the righty okay so now what we have is if the let's say opponent look uh, where is the distance opponent discrimination so if the right distance right side is less than left side if the opponent is on our left side that means our right distance is bigger than the left distance and when that happens we need to actually move to the right if the opponent is on the right then we have to move on the left and how to do that is by minus one so if it is true then we should go left and if it is not then we should go right and that's how we achieve that and hopefully this fixes all the issue but we need to actually uh, add speed because without speed our cars won't be able to maneuver each other so let's add, let's set our speed let's connect them let's multiply this multiply with 1.4 uh, I guess 1.65 is better and maybe less 1.6 is good enough and that's it and we also need to actually slow it down after a while after three seconds I guess it should slow down and since we don't have any sort of dynamic speed let's just give it some random uh, random float in range minimum of 40 I guess and maximum of uh, 60 and this will help us slow down the car and also here I think we need to 
put it much more closer I guess and with this we can actually test it out if things are working or not uh, let's see if it tries to actually okay let's see if we can simulate it it would be better so if you simulate it so far uh, it seems it is working but circling circling problem is still there this is good this is good but we need to fix that uh, beginning issue that is happening in our target location so this issue is related to this one and uh, I think we should uh, increase it by 32 and we also we already increased it by some margin I guess so we should at least give it less than 2 that would be better let's see if that helps or not actually it is now much better than before so far they are doing great job of avoiding and maneuvering each other to get the first place let's see this guy can beat the frontal guy oh he tried he tried then again it is trying again wow oh my god but then again we have this issue with they are just off tracking so this is happening because of the speed but so far everything is just working we'll fix that off-road movement uh, very soon but no need to worry because so far our logics are working as you can see they are actually getting front of each other and I'm not actually going really fast so let's see they can actually surpass me as well oh my god they are actually surpassing me so they can uh, detect me as well they can detect any uh, car pawn they're so smart so so far everything is working just the off-road situation where they are getting lost sometime so we'll fix that issue in the next episode and we'll touch on uh, dynamic speed acceleration and also we'll fix uh, other stuff until then bye bye bye. Goodbye, salam, peace, that's it.